Hey, Schmack, I'm a god, people. I'm doing a review of the brand new Sniper album called Even the Devil Believes. Now, before I get into this, I won't take long. I just want to talk about, you know, I've always liked Striper in the 80s and stuff, but honestly, starting with this album here, which is called No, Hell, no More Hell to Pay, I think they got better. It's my personal opinion. This one's great. Then the next one, The Fallen, man, this album, I'm telling you, like my, I, I like it more than all the 80s albums. Uh, it's like my favorite, The Fallen. This is an amazing album. Then they released this one called Goddamn Evil, which is, man, awesome. It's an awesome, awesome album. Uh, the song The Valley is my favorite off here, but you know what? It took me a long time to realize that's my favorite song off here. Now, this new one, which the album is still on the turntable. I've been playing it nonstop, and I have it in my car, playing it in my car, um, Trying, you know, I listened to it enough that I figured, okay, I know the songs well enough now. I've only had this album for like three days. I know it well enough now that I can do like a proper review. But in time, we'll see how I feel about this album. But as of now, I feel it's their best album ever. I feel it's even better than The Fallen. Time will tell, though. Time will tell. Now, why I like Striper now more than I did back in the 80s, there's a couple reasons. One, the songs. I think the songs are better now. Back in the 80s, their lyrics were very, how can I say, upfront. Jesus, God, Jesus. Now, starting with this album, No More Hell to Pay, they're still a Christian rock band. They still sing about Jesus and God, but they, they allude to it more. It's not so in your face anymore. It, they allude to it. You hear Jesus and God here and there, not as much as you did back then. They more to allude to it, and there are songs that aren't about religion either. You know, there are some songs that aren't about it. But this album is phenomenal. I mean, I can't get over how good this is. I mean, I love, you know, the three I just talked about. I, I think they've been on this serious role. Also, Michael Sweet Solo, which I didn't pull out. I have the, the, that last vinyl he did was really, really good, and the one before it that came with, I uh, bought the book. Anyway, I took little notes here. You know, the songs are still pretty fresh with me. So I'm going to talk about uh, the songs. And by the way, this Saturday on this channel, I'm going to air the, the interview I did with Michael Sweet in Nashville last year with uh, Bushy from uh, the Plug Podcast. We both interviewed him. So I'm putting up that this Saturday coming up. And um, so... Here we go. This first song on here is called Blood From Above. Blood From Above is the first song I heard. They, they aired it like a couple weeks ago. It was what I expected. Kick ass. I mean, starts off fast with Michael Sweet's voice is still as strong as ever with that scream in the beginning. It's just a kick ass song. What else did I write about? I didn't write anything here because I, I know uh, that, that song pretty well because I've heard it more than any song on this album. But that song is really good. A great opener. Just to let you know that, you know, this is what you're going to get, you know. And this is a metal album. I mean, it's metal. Uh, the next track is called Make Love Great Again. And, uh, you know, it's more of a mid-pace, but, you know, it's got this melodic chorus that's, you know, very uh, infectious. Really cool tune. I, I dig that one as well. Uh, the next one is called Let Them In. Now, Let Them In. You know, it's got this killer riff. What did I write? I, I know I wrote, a, it's like a hard driving song with killer riffs. And I love the structure of the verses with the riff. Very, you know, traditional metal. Awesome. And the guitar solo on that song is just, wow. Badass. Love it. Uh, then uh, Do On To Others, which I believe is that video, right? Because they just released a video today as I'm recording this. It's another great track. It's got some great melodic vocals. Um, but, you know, as far as the first time hearing, uh, the first few times hearing this, I think there's better songs that they should have made as a video, like, you know, Blood From Above, or my favorite one, which I'll tell you what it is. What it is. I mean, favorite as of now. That may change. But uh, Do Unto Others, I may be saying something negative about it. I'm not. It is a great song. I just feel there's other songs that could have presented it better. This album overall better, but 
you know, because, you know, if I heard that song, I, you know, the video without buying the album, I would, I don't know, I'd still buy the album because, you know, I, I, the, the band, I'm, I'm a fan, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying I would have picked uh, uh, Blood From Above or a song coming up as the first single or the video, whatever. Um, even though Blood From Above was released first, so that was a good move, uh, but it's not a video. Uh, even the Double Believes, that one is the title track, and what I wrote about that was, um, you know, it's traditional metal to the core, you know, it's uh, done right, uh, and I love the drums, what Robert Sweet does on uh, this song, some cool little drum work, cool stuff. Now we flip the album over, and the uh, side two starts with what it is as now my favorite song off this album. I mean, it's so good. It's called How to Fly. It's got this 70s vibe to it, like a good 70s hard rock, melodic, but killer. And um, it, just, it just really, uh, really grabs me, man. I, I think that's the best song so far on this album. But I'll tell you this now. I don't think there's a bad song on here. But as of now, uh, I think I heard it a total four to five times. That's my favorite track so far. Uh, Divider. Uh, Divider is really cool. What did I write here? I said, uh, it's got some great, great uh, crunchy lifts, uh, riffs on it. And uh, I love the verses. The verses, I can't remember the words, but it's something like, Take it all. Da -da 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 -da. It's really cool, man. I love the structure of that song. Kicks ass. Maybe my third favorite after uh, Blood From Above and... Uh, how to how to fly? Uh, this I pray is that the mellow one? Uh, yeah, this I pray is the mellow track. You know, it's still it's not like you know honestly, it's not a piano ballad. I'll be honest, I was never into those you know piano things they would do back in the day. I believe in you and stuff like that. Not a fan of that stuff. That I love, and I can't even call it a power ballad. Again, it like uh, like um, how to fly. It's got a '70s vibe to it. It's really a really cool, catchy, you know, mellow, acoustic-y song, but, you know, not too mellow. It's, you know, it's, it's perfect. I love it. It's a great, great uh, slower song on this album. Imitation Only, or whatever. I remember. I like that one a lot. It, that was the song. Imitation Only is the song that reminds me the most of 80 Striper, musically. Uh, it's just got that, I mean, right from the beginning of the song. You know it's Striper, because they have that. They have a sound. Striper does have this sound. And I really dig that one, too. The God of Rock and Roll, that one is, look, I like it, but I would say it's my least favorite on here. But I do like it. I think it's a good song, but everything I've talked, to, talked about so far, I like more. And then the last track, which is Middle Finger Messiah, which... Honestly, I'm a little surprised this album isn't called Middle Finger Messiah because their last album, Goddamn Evil, To Hell with the Devil, kind of controversial. So I'm kind of surprised Middle Finger Messiah isn't the title track. But, um, you know, because that would have caused a lot of controversy. Middle Finger Messiah, it's kind of like a bookend album because the first song is fast and furious, and that's how this one ends. Middle Finger Messiah is... Fast kick ass, you know. The, what's that last song on on uh, the Fallen? Uh, not the Fallen. Um, the last album, the the Devil Doesn't Live Here, is the same way. Very fast and furious, and that's how they end this album. This album's great. Brings the lyrics. Brings them wearing striper masks. Uh, and um, I haven't sitting down and read the lyrics. I've been very busy, but I will read the lyrics. Um, I should have before I did this review. But, you know, I'm going to be busy a lot in the next couple of days. This is the only day I have to do this. So, remember this Saturday, you'll hear the interview. Uh, and it's a great interview we do with Michael Sweet. What a nice guy. Super nice guy. And uh, very open with all the questions we threw at him. And it's a great, great interview. When the interview was over, you know, Michael said, Dude, that was a great interview. Because I brought up, you know, certain things that a lot of interviews, interviewers wouldn't bring up. So, check it out Saturday. Anyway... Check it out. If you're a Striper fan, if you're not and you hate Christian rock and you hate the thought of, you know, uh, you know, Christian with metal, then stay away, okay? I don't care. I don't mind. I'll listen to, you know, Immortal, Merciful Fate, 
Strider, I don't care. If the music's good, the music's good. That's how I feel about it. And this is awesome. I highly recommend it. I don't know how I'll feel in the future, but as of right now, I'm thinking, I haven't like put, I haven't cemented this, but as of now, I'm thinking, man, this is their best album, even better than The Fallen. Time will tell, though. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hey, I got a PayPal below if you want to donate. Hey, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Click that little notification bell. I totally appreciate it. Everybody, have a good one. Schmack on a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for Those Who Love Politics, a South Park podcast called Suck My Balls, The Infinite Fringe, a watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido, ex Stradivarius guitarist, The Timo Tolki podcast, and The Great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatSaddleReview.com or search RatSaddleReview on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.